Welcome to Chili Expat Family. Today, are you guys going to go along with me while I fix my generator? Uh, many of you know I'm off grid here, and because I'm off grid, I have a backup generator which I have to use right now to run my well pump, which is about two horsepower. And occasionally I need to do periodic maintenance, but right now I've got a major problem with it with uh, the radiator gasket's gone bad, and um, because of that, there's water leaking into the engine block. I'm praying that my engine block is not bad. I'm sure it's not. Uh, how did it get that way? Well, I overheated, and uh, when the belt broke, and I didn't know the belt was broken, and uh, because of that, it, it weakened it. And so um, what you're going to see me to do today is, is take apart this generator, and I'll show it to you now. So this generator is uh, a Vicano, um, and it's a EV2600-NB. V-I-K-Y-N-O, and it's made in Vietnam. It was designed by Kubota. The Vietnamese make it under license there, and um, they were selling a lot of these in Chile, and they aren't selling so many now. But it's a single cylinder, uh, horizontal, piston, um, uh, motor, diesel, which I like diesel, and it's, it's pretty industrial strength. It's not um, a weenie engine. So um, anyhow, this is where the radiator is, and the, the Air intake here is caps up here. All this has got to come off. You're going to watch me do this. So, Well, I've got all the cowlings off at this point. And down in here, and there you can't see, a little focus. Down in here, way down in here, is a bolt on top of a bolt that I can't get unless I get this out. And this is bolted to uh, this part here. So. I have to get the, I think there's a gasket underneath all that that's holding it in, but my goal is to get this off, okay, and find out what's bad underneath, but it's, uh, we'll find out what we get. So, anyhow, moving along, slowly but uh, steadily I'm moving, so we'll see. Okay, well, I got the head off, that's what it looks like down there cylinder horizontal and here's the head and for life of me I can't find a crack in it anywhere so I don't know maybe the gas gets bad but I don't see where it was leaking by there in either case I gotta figure something out I think I'll be buying a new generator but that's not uh, not something anybody looks forward to doing that's probably two three grand right there um, my other option is just to get rid of this engine, buy another diesel engine and put it on there. It's probably the best option and then I have the gen set works excellent and I just had it rebuilt. So just have to weigh my options from Chile, South America. I'll let you know. Ciao from Chile.